What is up everybody? I am back and today we have a little bit of a different sort of video. Uh, really I just wanted to go over a quick video about uh, a little bit about me, about Chase and Chains, why I am trying to start this company revolving around Chase and Chains. And so without further ado, let's get into it. So my name is Max. If you haven't watched any of the videos yet or heard it in any of them, uh, my name is Max Sands. I live in Ohio and I am a pretty amateur disc golfer. I started Chasing Chains because I've, I've always known that I wanted to do some sort of company or try to build some sort of company by my own or by myself. And um, once I got big into disc golf, my brother Austin, which has also been in the videos, uh, he kind of introduced me to disc golf quite a while ago. Uh, it was just this previous year that I really got into it. I got a ton, a ton of discs, um, really looked into what they did, what the different numbers meant and all that. Um, so once I got into it a little bit more, I was like, whoa, this, this could be, I could try to make this um, not, a, not so much as a, a uh, pro career, but I could try to build a clothing brand. So that kind of leads me to where the name actually came from, Chase and Chains. Um, it was kind of a complete accident. Uh, my brother Austin and Jordan were going to go play in a tournament. Uh, Austin knew I was making some hoodies. And I didn't have a name yet, but I was still um, making some disc golf related uh, clothing. So Austin reached out to me and said, hey, can you make a, a hoodie for Jordan? The team name being chain chasers well on complete accident i made a hoodie with chase and chains and i just thought it flowed well and um so that's kind of how it came about and how the name became chase and chains so i was thinking about it and i was like this i feel like could be used as a metaphor um not only for disc golf but chase and chains, something you're always chasing something in life. So your goals, your dreams, um, in disc golf, obviously it's you're chasing the chains. But I felt like that could really be used as a motivational um, kind of name, and I believe that it can mean so much more than just disc golf. If you just br bring it out of disc golf. You can use it for pretty much anything. You're always chasing your goals or your dreams. So right now I am making clothes. I'll put a few of these few uh, items on the screen here. I have a few designs that I'm I'm working on, uh, trying to get multiple designs made, ready to try to sell. And soon I'm trying to get a website to display these clothes on. Uh, so it's easier for people to get on there and buy um, some items if they'd like. So I would say the all-time goal here with my brand um, is to try to grow the sport and also um, try to motivate people to go chase their goals, their dreams, what they want to accomplish in life. I think there is um, a big message in Chase and Chains if you can look outside of disc golf. Disc golf is what happens to obviously flow really well with the name and what I am chasing to become better at. Uh, and I'm not saying I want to be a pro in disc golf, but this is a sport where um, I started and I really wasn't that, that good. Still, I'm really not that good, but it's a sport where I can keep gaining skills and, and trying to get more competitive and more competitive and uh, hopefully be Austin all the time, my brother. Since I've talked a little bit about Chasing Chains, now I want to get into what will be on this channel because I just, I love, uh, I've always loved making videos. Um, editing, I think, is really fun. And so on this channel, I'm looking just to bring fun content. So uh, disc golf challenges, doubles. I've, I've already put a few doubles rounds on here, competing against people. And I think just have fun with the different challenges that are out there. I, always, I already want to do um, the putter challenge where it's just go out 
to a course and you throw your putter only and see what you can do. I think me and my brother Austin are going to be uh, getting into that. I challenge you guys to give me some ideas what you guys would want to see uh, down in the comment section if you if you have any and uh, we'll see if we can work it out. On the channel I'd also like to do uh, I've had somebody out there already ask for it in the bag um, so be going through this bag here my brother's bag seeing what we throw uh, why we have them in the bag and uh, talking about maybe the new grip bag I, got, I just got for Christmas yeah, just explaining why we have those discs in there. So hopefully that will give you guys some knowledge um, behind the discs we throw. Uh, stability, understable, more, you know, stable. And maybe you guys will want to put those in your bag. All right, I really just wanted to make this video sweet, uh, simple, and to the point. Hopefully I have achieved that. That's a little bit about this channel, uh, about chasing chains in general. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And if you do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button uh, and follow chasing chains underscore on Instagram. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.